very highly of Snake. He actually thinks that, or I mean, this is, I talked to him a while back, but he thinks Snake has like no losing matchups or, I mean, maybe as of recent, maybe he thinks he has a few, but like, yeah, he, he thinks this character is really, really strong. Like so. best in the game strong? Because that's what it sounds like Sayon's thinking. Maybe, maybe. I, I mean, I didn't hear him say that yeah, particularly, yeah, yeah, yeah. but when you say a character has no losing matchups, that is the bold, quite the bold statement. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what what this set is going to look like. Cosmos with Sayon you know, already retreating to the sky, and even using the Splat Bomb. Very smart from Cosmos. He knows that he's not going to be able to reach Salem all the way that high, but you know what? Maybe that Splat Bomb will. Yeah, I know. One, one thing as well, um, particularly just if you have really good grab setups on Snake, Snake is a character that thrives off of trading from your hitbox hitting his grenades. Well, if you're grabbing them all the time and not pummeling, the grenades will not trade. And <laughs> Newsflash, Inkling gets tons of damage and can even kill Snake at a very wide range with the up throw up air combo. Mm -hmm. That's a great wake-up attack because you know that Salem was looking for an up tilt or an F tilt as soon as uh, trying to read Cosmos' uh, roll. Okay, yeah, very close though. Salem keeping it. Uh, I don't think this is death. Not on uh, yeah, not on town. Very, very close though. I think one more grab will do it. Oh, even if that's, even though it's been staled a little bit, you still think it would be enough? Yeah, yeah. But not. I mean, Salem might hit himself out of the percent. The forwarder will hit him, get get the stock out. But one thing that snakes have been doing to make this matchup, you know, a little bit less taxing is. Oh, I'm in up throw up air range. Let me just, you know, do damage to myself. It does Blow put myself you in a, up a little bit. Right. It does put you in a disadvantage situation. Oh! But, oh man, speaking of disadvantage though, yikes, that down air will connect for Cosmos. You know, it didn't even just break the cipher, it sent Salem straight down. Oh yeah. He was dead in like multiple ways. <laughs> <laughs> like talking about securing a kill, like that was a dead snake. Yeah, and at, at this point I you know what, Zifa? I think we might see a Yo, character is switch. Is it, is it time I, to, like, pick up the dice? It might be time because, uh, <laughs> you know what, Salem? You, you said there was no losing matchups, but I, like I said, when I talked to him before, like, when he said that, How it long was, ago was this? It was, like, a couple months ago. Okay, so. okay. Well, things so may he, have changed. <laughs> yeah, things may have changed. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Cosmos is definitely making it look like this matchup is very much so in favor of Inkling. And I mean, he's doing it against one of the best snakes in the world as well. Right, right, right. Salem is no slouch in terms of this character. Even at 109%, he's still chasing Salem all over the screen. See ya. Up throw, up air. You pulling grenades. You want to set up for these trades. You want me to hit you? Well, I'm going to snatch you up. I'm going to throw you up and take you off the top. And being able to kill Snake that conveniently, that consistently at those percents, is just an amazing tool to have because we saw sometimes how hard it would be for Leon to get the kill even as Bowser. Someone that's packing that much of a punch. You know, side being him at like 150 and Snake still alive. And a character like Inkling, that fast, that nimble, being able to kill Snake at that kind of percentage, 110, 120, like that's incredible. <laughs> I love that Salem was hovering over Yoshi and was like, this is legal, right? <laughs> like, no man, get that off my stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're here in SoCal. <laughs> We have a conservative <laughs> oh, stage God, list God, because stream, we, we just like competing on regular, normal stages. <laughs> well, well said. But, you know, I was thinking about, like, maybe this isn't the best opportunity to pick up the dice. Wow. Select hero because when you think about it, I definitely don't, wasn't, wasn't letting him breathe. I definitely don't think hero would have would do any better. I mean, maybe it would be more of a curveball pick. Maybe it, it would be more of like a... I hope you don't know this matchup. I think if Cosmos wins game two and he's up 2-0 against Salem, then we will see a hero. I mean, Salem has a bunch of other characters as well, so I'm still pretty surprised he just stayed the snake, but it's working out. So for him, he's probably thinking, like, I know exactly what I did wrong. And, you know, I just pretty much, I, I think he just got snatched up a little too, too much. That's true. And I think, you know, maybe just the big, the big town and city wasn't working out for him. Being the heavier character, it really should like help him live longer, but at the same time, it was making it harder to kill Cosmos as well. Yeah, and it's, it's really weird to see the zoner take Cosmos to a smaller stage, but maybe the mentality behind it is like, well, I just want to control more area, right? Mm -hmm. Because Inkling is a character that you have just like the most broken dash in the game, so the more room you have to dash around, the more, you know, deadly your whip punish game can be. If you cut that area out and you're nades or your setup tools are just controlling more area, you know, this Inkling might not have 
the, the dash becomes a little weaker, you know what I mean? That's true. I mean, we even saw that in the recovery right there. Sayon was able to chase down and just manipulate the Nikita to right. make sure it landed where Cosmos was headed. And right now, Cosmos now losing. But right now, offstage, no, nope, juggle situation here. Salem slipping right by, though, but tossed right back out. And I mean, Cosmos is reaching with these up airs, and Salem is looking for when Cosmos is going to be trying to approach with Nair and up air. Okay, grenade going to Ooh, explode, but he almost confirmed off of that grenade. And he if almost. Cosmos gets a grab, that is going to be the stock here. You see him fishing for it right now. Oh, and I think he put him out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, he, he, Oh, wow. I mean, Cosmos is still going for it, so he might still be in it. Zig is really heavy and really big, so the percentage might be that big with low rage. But another grenade, I'm pretty sure he's out of it at this point. Okay, but he's well, still, still going for the grab. Grab. I mean, at this point, it might just be about putting uh, Salem off stage. What? Wow, he's still alive. And now we see Inkling in a position where Cosmos isn't getting the stock off grab. And now Salem's at 100 lift up to 195% after the hit right there. So I think we're getting pretty good stock mileage here. Mm -hmm. Even like on a smaller stage though, but like of course, if we, as we've been saying, Snake, that heavy character, he's gonna be living for quite a long time, getting a good amount of ink. You see Salem just retreating to the sky. He's even gonna run out the timer on that ink a little bit too, and make it the approach a little bit harder for, for Ooh, Cosmos. Man, lots of ink on the Salem though. That Snake is looking yellow, oh. yellow camouflage. <laughs> Yeah, Dash is it right into Cosmos' face, and that's not where you want to be. He was so quick to get the grab into a back throw. Now Salem is trying to retreat into this guy's narrowly avoiding that splat bomb. But look at this. Salem is just still in disadvantage. He's been in disadvantage for almost half a minute now, taking like 160 damage practically, and Cosmos is still kicking this man. Okay, still reaching with oh, that whoa, back air, whoa, whoa. landing a back air of his own, even meeting him halfway, Jeez, putting man. Nikita in the trajectory of... Cosmos' recovery. Wow, talking about kicks, Salem only needed one right into the Nikita, and that was the stock. And now Salem, again, in a situation where the up throw up air will not kill him. And he's, like, living to 180%. This is so big. Salem is playing it so well. Yeah, but catching the falling from uh, Salem, and Cosmos able to pick up that stock, doing a little bit, e having a little bit easier time closing that stock out than the first one, too. It's crazy because even with all this crazy stock mileage that Salem's getting, this game is still really, really close. I like the DI right there. He DI'd away from the platform. If you ever get up throw from Inkling, always DI away from the platform. You never want those platform extensions to happen, right? Yeah, because you saw Cosmos was going for it, but the splat bomb is going to put Salem in shield and just able to escape. Grenades, and yeah, he's in the corner. Salem has to fight his way out, but finally one of the grenades connect. Another one connects here onto Cosmos. Oh man, this is looking really scary. And up till Reed could do the trick, but the dash stack on the reaction there. Nikita set up. Ooh, able to get to the ledge just in time. Yeah, immediately using the up B. Let's get to that. Let's get that invulnerability uh, applied as quickly as possible. Now both players throwing out their, their explosions, but Salem's coming in clutch. Yeah, you, you still gotta be very respectful if you're Salem though, because um, with this. Okay, you're done. 160% is the. Number you want to hit on those pumbles, and when you put them down to go to sleep, the up tilt will be true if they're at 160 or higher. So Salem will go ahead and close that one out. I was about to say it was still looking pretty scary for Salem because it was the opposite side of the spectrum where Cosmos had the rage, right? Mm -hmm. So if he was able to survive, you know, Cosmos could get a grab at like maybe 110 ish or so. Right, right. And seal out the stock. So Salem was the one that was like in the position where it's like, well, I hope you close this out because if you don't, it could come <laughs> back and bite you. But nonetheless, Salem will get himself on the board with Snake after getting mollywop game one, stayed uh, Snake, and really showed us the counterplay there in the matchup. And we're honestly seeing the matchup evolve right before our eyes. That's right. I mean, as you can see, like, Salem continuously changing between, like, playing in Cosmos' face and then trying to set up with his explosions. I mean, right there, already throwing out an up tilt and setting up a couple of grenades at the ledge. Cosmos able to escape, but still taking the trade with one grenade. No character switch, but we do have the color switch here. Uh, color switch and a state switch. Yeah, yeah. So Cosmos gonna catch that spot dodge with the jab, and that is the uh, that's the deadly thing about Inkling. This is why I think this character is so good in terms of mix-ups, right? So this Inkling's gonna come at you with this broken dash, and they're either gonna grab you, jab you, or possibly even roller you. And you you know what I mean? If yeah. you spot dodge and the jab catches, it takes a lot of bunch of damage and all that whatnot. Is just there's a lot of mix-up, and the reward is very heavily favored in the Inkling. But nonetheless, man, Salem, these offstage Nikitas are doing work. And let me tell you, it's, it's not that easy 
to uh, get the Nikita, Ooh. but wow, he's still alive after that. That's crazy. That's that's actually not okay. <laughs> he yeah. got it. Kalko was able to get an S Smash read and still Sam was able to live, but in Roller into S Smash, even from launching across stage, still going to be able to close out that stock. I really want to point out that was the only roller we've seen Cosmos connect. So pretty much going two whole games clean of not even getting rollered once is actually very, very impressive, in my opinion, from Sailor. That's true. Usually we see, like, especially in the, the close quarters combat, you know, the roller will come out and they can catch their opponent off guard. But Salem has been ready at every turn, retreating high into the sky and using the B reversal, the momentum change. Oh, and okay, waits for the air dodge there. Back here, fair. Nope, not going to connect. And almost picks up the frame trap with the grab, but just a tad bit too late there. Oh, oh I like Z dropping that grenade that just in case. That was really smart. And I mean, that's the great thing about grenades, right? You just kind of throw out some kind of threat mm -hmm. passively, and it can just really cushion your disadvantage state. But Cosmos is the one with the rage. So Salem's got to be very, very careful. He could get hit one time, get reset into a grab, and that could be the stock here for Salem. That's why you see him playing so conservative, so respectful of Cosmos. Mm -hmm. Going to slowly creep in towards Cosmos, throwing a couple of grenades, even using Nikita to apply pressure. Oh, but the f is going to get beaten out by the forward air. And another forward jump. air connecting. Ooh, I like the roller jump as well. Ooh, tried to get, but there's the... Oh, but he missed it! Oh, I don't know if that would have killed. But it definitely would have put him off stage with a lot of ink. Oh man, this is so scary. Up throw up air. Oh wow, Good too much rage. Air dodge. Yeah, too much rage there. Uh, not gonna fully connect. Wait, another grab. Yeah, just gonna forward throw for the ink. Yeah. Can he catch the juggle with the up air though? Going high in the sky and being able to land and put a grenade back on the platform. I mean, Salem's in prime position right now. He continues to use these platforms to his advantage. And these rollers, but the forward air connects. He sunk it so low. Salem did not expect the hitbox that low. Air dodges right through the up air. Oh man, can Cosmos finish him off? Run off back here, and that's gonna put Salem up into the sky. And being able to connect that up air, closing out the stock, but at 164%, so many, Salem's gonna have so many options to just clean up that stock. Oh yeah, but I mean, right now, Cosmos definitely has ranged moves like the splatter shot, like the uh, grenade as well, but the aerial getting thrown in the wrong direction, uh, kind of back aired when he was in front of him, but maybe thought he was going to roll or something, maybe just a misinput. Nonetheless, man, Salem is going to get that stock, and we're here, game number three, last stock apiece here. Yeah, even percent, essentially. But Salem still trying to set up. And yep, oh, Cosmos did, man. in fact, grab that grenade, which is going to be very unfortunate for him, just tacking on a little bit of extra damage, but Rapid Dab is going to ink up Salem pretty well. Right now, Salem rocking that purple tiger camo. <laughs> Man, yeah, even a lot more, a lot more purple than it is Tiger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not now, especially with that other splat bomb that does so much. But wow, look at this! Sam's already at 150. percent Can you catch the landing? Oh, oh. good read on that yeah. directional rod. Wait. Okay, gets the tech roll. Now, now this is scary for Cosmos because now Salem's the one with the rage now, and now Cosmos doesn't have up throw up air as a confirm. He's gonna have to just get a raw hit here, and an up tilt will definitely do it. Oh man, it's so scary to just be around Salem. The range of the up tilt is so, so large. I mean, this is an opportunity where I'm really oh, expecting man. Roller to come in clutch for Cosmos. But Salem's keeping him in a position where if Cosmos does in fact commit to Roller, he's going to be able to react. Well, he's always having a grenade by his foot as well. You're going to Roller me? I have a grenade by my foot. I'm going to have some kind of answer to it. Oh falling. man, the aggressive landing. Yeah, falling with the forward air and trying to reach, but not able to get oh, it. But get there we go, off. getting a yes, back air. Does. Oh, that was scary. And I mean, I've seen Inkling back air not kill at absurdly high percent, so I was still a little bit worried. But nonetheless, Cosmos waited out the air dodge, and that's what you got to do against Snake. You got to bait him out in those particular situations, especially Salem didn't have a lot of stage to B reverse onto as well. If he B reverse grenaded, he could have ended up off stage. So Cosmos just really had that positional advantage to kind of just wait and see what he did, got the reaction got the stock and closed it out. Like I said, it was, it was rough for Cosmos because he didn't really have the up throw up air out, right? right he had right, to right. just get that raw hit, and he ended up getting it. I mean, it's really calling out where Salem is going to land. Salem really wasn't going for the ledge too much in this set, and finally Cosmos was able to utilize that information to his advantage. Yeah. It looks like we're going to stick with the uh, the purple colored inkling. Uh, it, it won last game, right? I think it's working out pretty well for Cosmos. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a fan of the purple tiger camo, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs>
I think I like the I like the yellow. The yellow yellow black and yellow. Oh, you know, black, black yo, and yellow in my heart all day, dog. You already know, dog. Two <laughs> Ooh, man, and when dude, when Snake combos off Grenade, it hurts so much because his aerials just do so much percent. With the Grenade on top of that, it's just, you're going to be eating like 30 to 40 easily. But you've seen this options that Salem is actually going for when he has Cosmos at the ledge. He immediately set up the Grenades and then threw out a forward there, trying to get the heal slap onto the ledge in case Cosmos went for like a drop down forward air and air. Ooh, and the paint make, slowing down Salem just a little bit. Oh, oh, what a call out from Cosmos. I will go to the depths to get this stock. That's right. And to get that stock, he did. And you know what? Now he's going to take that to the bank. Now he's going to be really trying to keep that, that lead. And I like that Cosmos, you saw the splatter shot actually detonated the grenades as well. So that is going to be a tool in Cosmos, Cosmos' tank. Uh, of course. <laughs> But of course, um, Cosmos with this stock lead, only at 105 low rage on Snake. Um, Cosmos definitely can play the uh, I don't have to come into your zone game. I mean, he doesn't at the same time. Like, it doesn't it feel like Salem is pretty comfortable not going to the zone either. He's going right. to just sit back, throw out the grenades, really. Flat bomb and the, the ink him up, neutral B. It's all that really Cosmos has at his disposal. Ooh, but eventually Salem. Closes in the gap with the uh, dash attack and catches the anti air up tilt. Really good stuff. Only taking 11 damage for that stock. Really good stuff. But no double jump. Ooh, the air dodge to the stage, to the ledge, actually. Going to do him wonders there. Aggressive up air and he able to get back on stage as well. Very smart. I mean, Cosmo's not expecting that double jump up air back on stage. Not exactly something we've seen from him too often in this set. Dropping the C4 onto the platform, making sure that Cosmo's not trying to approach in the air. And that Z grab, falling through the platform and Z grabbing the uh, grenade on the platform is so, so cool looking. Very, very good <laughs> for Salem. Like you said, you always want to have that insurance on your landing, right? And grenades oh, are definitely that. And the up throw up there on the platform, again, being able to kill Snake at that low of a percent is such a big deal. Just utilizing the platforms against Salem, something we don't really see too often. There's a back air connects. Oh, the double jump and snatches him right up. And look at all this damage for Cosmos. The double nair into the up air as well. Already 83% on Salem. Yeah, but Salem was able to get a combo breaker with using one of the grenades. Yeah, put a little bit more damage on Salem. But guess what? I'm pretty sure Cosmos planning to put a lot more than what was already on him. Oh, grenade into back no air, double jump. Double back air. And now Salem trying to recover high. Oh, it's good direction on yes, air dodge. Onto the platform there. Cosmos was waiting for a defensive option onto the stage, but Salem with the great mix up there, able to let him live another day. Okay, grenade into back air, and now Salem fighting for his tournament life, using a good C4 to drop, just because you know Cosmos is trying to look, trying to go off stage to just close out this game, move on to grand finals. Yeah, get his run back, but the tricky C4, Salem is so good at that just like oh no don't hit me yeah <laughs> oh but the up throw up there with no rage is gonna do it that was still true wow 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 he did it to 150 percent that was still true that's Jeez. i mean with no rage no rage so i mean yeah, it's, it's like true. kind of understandable but like dang <laughs> but still 150 percent man so uh, everyone says it's a bad matchup for a reason so really good stuff to cosmos now I just feel like the game that Salem did win, we saw 